Hey everyone, my name is Danny Roberts and I am the new video producing intern for AliveCampus.com. Um, just some things about myself. I am a junior at Longwood University studying Communication Studies with a concentration in Mass Media and a minor in Women and Gender Studies. I'm also involved in many campus organizations such as Social Greek Life, the Longwood Ambassadors, and as a resident assistant for the Office of Residential and Commuter Life at Longwood University. So this week's video is just going to focus on my decision to go to Longwood, how I got into Longwood, and um, my time at Longwood since. And I'm also going to be giving you guys some advice on how to choose the right school for you. So first of all, Longwood really wasn't my first choice school. Originally I wanted to go to Christopher Newport University in Newport News, Virginia. However, um, when I went to go tour there, I didn't really feel at home. I still applied but I didn't really feel at home. Like, it had the kind of community that I wanted. It was small, and it was next to the beach and stuff like that, but I just didn't feel the sense of community that I wanted. So, I looked at other schools. I applied to uh, schools such as James Madison University, Old Dominion University, Longwood, I applied to Virginia Wesleyan, so I applied to a lot of big public schools, small private schools, small public schools. I applied to about seven schools all in all. So when I started getting acceptance letters back, I had to start looking into what school that I really wanted to go to. So I created this list that I wanted to look into, and I automatically came to the fact that I, do not want, I did not want to go to a big school. And so that marked off all the big schools. And so I was left with all the small schools. Well, I couldn't go to a private school because I didn't have enough money to go to the private school. So I had to go to a small public school. And uh, since Longwood and CNU are small public schools, it was between CNU and Longwood. Um, so I hadn't taken a tour of Longwood. So what I did was I contacted one of my friends who went to Longwood and asked her if she could give me a tour. Well, when I got to Longwood, I was there with my parents and my friend, Stephanie, and automatically from the get-go, I was in love. Like, I knew that I wanted to go there. The campus was small, open, and not cluttered. I, I was approached by many people saying, hey, welcome to Longwood, because obviously I was much shorter back then, and I was with two parents, plus I was being guided around by another freshman. So obviously, th my looks were with me when I say they thought I was a, fr uh, a new kid. So I was welcomed, and I was given a lot of hellos. I even met people on my tour. It was really nice and really cool. Since I was able to find the perfect school for me, I think that it's only best if I offer you some advice in order to get to the decision to pick your favorite or your perfect school. So I created this thing back, back when I was younger, when I was a senior in high school. I came up with more. You only want more of an education. You want more friends. You want more experiences in your life. So you go to college. So I use that as an acronym for um, just some helpful tips. So M. M is for major. You're going to school to get an education. If you're not going to school for an education, then you're just wasting your money. Um, so you want to make sure that you look into a school that, first off, has the, your major, has the best program for your major, and has the teaching styles and the way you want to learn. O stands for organizations. In order to be successful and have a fun time on campus, you need to be involved. You need to get involved on campus. If you're not involved on campus, you're going to be that student that stays in their room, munches on chips, watches movies and play video games, and doesn't get out much. By joining organizations, you make bonds with people. You become that person that has a lot of friends, that knows people, and has connections for after you graduate. R. R stands for reputation. You want to be able that you are uh, upholding the reputation of your, or, uh, of your university or college. 
You want to make sure that you're going to a school that you're proud to represent. So you want to make sure that if you're wearing like Longwood colors or if you're wearing, um, let's say, George Mason colors, you want to be proud that you're wearing it. So look into what's so specific, what makes that school so special. Let's say, for example, Longwood. We are the founding chapter for four sororities. We have Zeta Tau Alpha, Alpha Sigma Alpha, Sigma Sigma Sigma, and Kappa Delta. They were all founded at Longwood. E stands for environment. You want to make sure that you're finding the school that fits your personality, the one that you will be able to call home. So if you are a person that wants to be a big fish in a small pond, you should look into going into a small school. If you just want to um, go to a giant school, go to that giant school. So it just depends on where you want to go. Using the uh, more statement, you can just think about how to choose the best school for you, which school is the right one for you. I will be posting weekly um, for a live campus and uh, be sure to follow them on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. You can go down there and like them. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll leave an email down below or you can contact a live campus and they'll get to me as well. So uh, I am really excited about this position and I'm really happy to um, help you guys choose um, what college is right for you and help you decide how to live your college life successfully.